Give me the voiceover. Talk about it. Give me the voiceover. Lie. Hi, I'm Robin Leach, and welcome to the fabulous world of Floyd Money Mayweather. Here at the Big Boy Mansion, Floyd Mayweather, boxing's half-a-billion-dollar man, lives a lavish and luxurious lifestyle. It's all part of the Mayweather movement. Let's run the names. Prada, Gucci, Christian Louboutin. Necklaces, rings, Rolex watches, the fastest cars, and the baddest bitches. Welcome to the fabulous world of Floyd Mayweather. I want to see the cars. I want to see the furniture. All of them. <laughs> the, the, the Bentley goes right here. You know, to me, because I come from Britain, this is the ultimate. The owner rolls and then to stretch it. Yes. That is the ultimate car. Give me the voiceover. Talk about it. Give me the voiceover live. It's the largest Rolls Royce in the entire world. It's shining bright white <laughs> with victory just around the corner. <laughs> I feel like it was only right to bring the best to the table, and you're the best at what you do. You're too kind. What, is, what does money really mean? It means to an end? Nope. It's, it's just comfort. Comfort? Uh, money is comfort. OK. And who don't want comfort? Right. You know, we don't ever get to show, we don't ever get to show the guest bedrooms. We always show my bedroom, but somebody was in there asleep. Somebody's in there asleep? I don't know somebody was. We're not going there. Somebody <laughs> could have been. <laughs> So this is the real bling. Right here, $5 million worth of jewelry. More. Right Big. here, more than $5 million worth of jewelry. Yes, because these are dog tags. OK, OK. These are price tags. <laughs> <laughs> and what is the price? Close to a million dollars for this. No matter where I go, no matter what house I buy, I always have to have a, a beautiful big picture of my mother. That's my queen right there. Love it. You know, through, through everything, through all my struggles, she always stuck by my side and believed in me when no one else believed in me. So she comes first. I love that picture. Let's and talk about then let's talk this, about this one picture. I really love. 1979. Really? They used to call me champ when I was a little kid. And I used to get on the, um, the chair and hit the speed bag. And everybody used to come to the boxing gym and say, let me see the little guy get on the chair. And everybody used to go crazy. I got to a certain point where I only wear a certain type of glasses. Right. Dita and diamond glasses. Hold on, one, two, three, four. I'm missing some diamond glasses. This is not good. It'll be okay. We'll find it. You probably left it downstairs on the dashboard of the rolls. Probably. <laughs> How many ties does Floyd Mayweather have? You never wear one. I do. When do you wear a tie? Sometimes. I'm gonna wear one at my wedding. And when is that coming? Never. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people will say you're crazy because you, you spend a lot of money on, on living life to the full. With why the... not have the finer things in life? You right. can't take no, it No, I, I, I absolutely agree. A million dollars a month for the rest of a person's life, that's not bad. Is that what it is now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's bad at all. No, I think that's good. OK. When they gonna do Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous again? I don't want to do it again. I did it once. It's like you. you. Three more fights, you're out. I did 14 years, I'm out. I love it. I only came back to do this just for you. Thank you. If Mayweather thinks of possessions as trophies, Chino Maidana considers the simple rural life a reward in itself. It's a long way from the big boy mansion, but the Argentine countryside made Maidana what he is a self-sufficient gaucho. It also honed his predatory instincts. Me crié en el campo, mi niñez fue en el campo. Mi papá siempre trabajaron en estancia. Y bueno, ahí me crié. Mandamos ese maldito sapo. Marco cuando no pelea está en el campo. Todos sus familiares estuvieron relacionados al campo, al trabajo duro del campo. Y él lleva mucho de, de lo del campo. Mayana tiene cosas de gaucho. Se pegó. 
Pero acá se lo ¿Uno solo? Una puntita. Y el otro lo rozó. Ahí sí tenés que levantar. Mi papá y yo a cualquiera. A cualquiera. 20 pesos por cabeza. Y en Argentina, a él le gusta mucho ir al campo. Y allá nos juntamos con asado, vamos a cazar, vamos a pescar. Andamos a caballo. Bueno, el asado al estilo chino. Claro, no, esto ya cuando está medio adobadito acá, se lo da vuelta. Life on the ranch is tranquil. Fighters need these moments, a break before the battle. But fathers can't resist. It's their nature to dispense last minute advice. The mood is light, but the burden unspoken. In a matter of hours, Maidana will leave for Oxnard. Then the hard part begins, saying goodbye, leaving a daughter he's only just met. <laughs> La verdad, <ríe> no me gusta. Yo prefiero el marco de casa. Con el que vamos a pescar, que vamos a cazar, que no, cocino. Ese marco me gusta. Esta pelea, si la gano, paso a ser el número uno, a quitarle el trono a Mayweather y, bueno, peleo porque es lo que hago. Es lo que hago y lo que sé hacer. Así que ya estoy en el baile y tengo que bailar. No la puedes aprovechar. By now, the voyage to America has become a familiar ritual for Maidana. Mayweather, on the other hand, makes a spectacle of his daily commute. The Bugatti Veyron is one of the most expensive automobiles in the world. But at the price of 1.6 million, why settle? For just one. I'm the kid in the candy store. I got another toy, red and black Bugatti. I got two now, so 3.2 million. Fly, flashy, and flamboyant. If you got it, flaunt it. It's all about having fun. No fighter, even one as gifted as Floyd Mayweather, gets to 45 and 0 without a punishing regimen. But in this camp, a steady stream of high profile visitors keeps the mood light. Me and my boy Ron Artes, I'm gonna go shoot some basketball. I'm gonna go best some boys on some basketball. Guests come and go. But Floyd's 13-year-old daughter, Ayana, is a fixture at his gym. You went to Rafi too. Today, she's handing out invitations to the customary appreciation party. But for now, the champ has another adventure planned. Time to pull the jet out the garage. Once the boxing gym is over with, I want to hang with females. I don't like to hang out with guys at all. I know about this. You got to go up a little bit more, baby. 
I thought so too. I've been filming forever. Bring that boom up. My check, my check, money made all day. It's good to get out and do things that's different. You know, I like to be very, very spontaneous. I just wake up and whatever I feel like doing, I do. And what he feels like doing today is attending the red carpet premiere of his friend Marlon Wayans' new movie. What's up, it's your man Floyd Money Mayweather. We're at Haunted House Part 2. Tell us if you ever had a ghost encounter. I fought a ghost, Robert Guerrero the ghost. Every time Floyd fight, I'm like, all right, so what person that speaks Spanish are you going to beat up on this guy? <laughs> After the festivities, Floyd's party retires to his residence at the Ritz Carlton, where he enlightens his harem of admirers. Oh, what, you smoke weed? You've never even seen me smoke before. Oh, I've seen you smoke. You didn't think i seen you. You I, did not. You be eating brownies. You be eating anything <laughs> that got weed in it. I would pay to see you high. If I was a smoke, I'm like, yeah, these <laughs> been tripping talking about <laughs> that these fighters can beat me. <laughs> I told you. I wasn't going to lose. It took, it took 20 years trying to knock me off the block. <laughs> yeah, but you know me. I'm a cold piece of work, baby. And your part, what <laughs> about? You want to leave a fire? <laughs> like, you crazy. Uh, <laughs> it just... <laughs> <laughs> Less than 60 miles up the coast from Hollywood, Oxnard is defined by physical labor, back-breaking work in the fields and the gyms. It's why Maidana has returned yet again to Robert Garcia's Boxing Academy. Here, the reigning trainer of the year has created a virtual factory for a new generation of champions. Contento de estar acá en Ognar de vuelta. No, bien, bien contento de vuelta a verlo porque son como amigos. Ya que traen las, las, la, 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 la pre-rap. ¿Cómo está, Chino? ¿Ya estás está, está, está trabajando? Ahí estaba trabajando bien. Sí. No, peleas callejeras, ¿verdad? ¿eh? Nada. No, está nadie quiere pelear contigo allá, ¿verdad? Es un ídolo. Sí. Hace dos años, Chino, empezamos. Y ahora estamos contra mi güey. Sí. ¿Eh? Bien, ¿eh? Evolucionamos bastante, ¿eh? Listo, la verdad con Alex. Being at home, family, friends, newborn, I was kind of doubting that he was really in the gym, like they were telling me. Tíreme aquí a la derecha. Aquí, primero boca del estómago, ¿ok? Ahí. Eso. It's actually the first day of mid work with him. Ese. I had never felt him that strong. He says this because he knows the, the importance of the fight. He knows this Mayweather, but I know it has a lot to do with something else. Maidana's ferocity is plain to see. But his past is less clear. It's a cryptic one, full of secrets, even unsavory ones. A few years ago, he was probably the kid that if it was in the news back home, it was because he got in trouble, because he did something bad. This is the real deal, you know? He's been shot at, he's been locked up, problem with gangs, stuff like that. You know, they've told the stories. No, 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 me arrepiento de, de nada. En mi vida he hecho, bueno, cometido errores como todo, pero no, no me arrepiento porque esos errores te dan sabiduría y todo, te dan mucha experiencia. Que yo creo que si no eso pasado por esos errores, no sé si estaría donde estoy o esos errores te, te enseñan mucho. He's an idol in his country. He's a role model. Thousands, millions of kids look up to him now. Diez segundos, vamos, buena, termina fuerte ahí. Eso, otra vez, otra vez. Bien, 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 bien. Woo, buen round. Así me mi chino, muy buen. This is the best time for Chino Maidana to fight Mayweather. Mayweather is so confident that the fight's gonna be so easy, because that's what everybody thinks when they're facing Chino Maidana. Yo pienso de Mayweather que es un gran boxeador. Sé que voy a tener una pelea muy difícil, 
Pero voy a entrenarme bien, voy a ganarle. Nunca me, me intimidó nada. Vivo, 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 vivo otra vez. The fighters that give Floyd trouble are those that are aggressive, that keep coming forward, that don't respect him. 30 seconds, vamos! If Chino lands and, and Chino hurts Mayweather, then it's over. Tiempo! All right, good work. Good, buddy, good. Maidana thinks only of the fight. But Mayweather has a legacy to ensure. With his retirement nearing, Floyd envisions a new generation of fighters, worthy of bearing his namesake brand. I'm working hard every day. I feel like I go in the gym and I work like I don't have a dime. I want my fighters to put the same work in. Let's go, baby. He's learning the hard way. Finding boxing's next prodigy isn't so easy. Mayweather Promotions has encountered something the champ himself has no experience with, losing. He was very disappointed with some stuff that has happened recently, and he let the guys know. You have the opportunity to sit and learn up close and personal from him. You gotta take advantage of it. So many people are itching to be in the position we are in. We are with the best in the business. If we slip up and take it for granted, somebody may slide in and take that spot. The first televised bout on May 3rd will feature Jay Leon Love, a super middleweight who's inspired high hopes in the Mayweather camp. Come back. You make him think he's done something. Just catch, catch, relax. Catch, catch, relax. I'm from a small town, Inkster, Michigan. You know, and here I am on pay-per-view Showtime, opening up for one of the biggest fights. It seems like a typical night. Floyd pulling up for a burger on the strip. But as the fight draws closer, the scrutiny intensifies. His critics emboldened. I always have to take security. I can't go to the movies. I can't go over someone's house. I'm fighting the critics. I'm fighting the media. And I'm fighting the biased fans. Pacquiao can get off my... Oh, man. You're cocky. Oh, man, get under control. I got under control. She's telling you what's up. But you don't put a $6 million fighter name in the same sentence as mine. I'm going to get up. This is the life that I chose. It comes with the territory. You have to take the good with the good and take the bad with the bad. Y'all supposed to be enjoying Las Vegas. Why'd I get you all worked up? I like it. I like it. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. I like it. The verbal shots never touch him. In life, as in the ring, he slips attacks with ease. A Las Vegas evening comes to a close. Soon, it will be morning in Oxnard, and time to work. Training fighters remains an art, but strength and conditioning has become a science. That's where Alex Ariza comes in. This will be his first full camp with El Chino. His goal, to produce levels of strength and stamina commensurate with Maidana's fearsome will. Today is, um, this is what we do our body composition day, where we do our body fat, fat to muscle ratio, find out where the fighters are, find out the adjustments that we need to make as far as to the diet. What we're really trying to do is minimize muscle loss. If they're trying to make weight and they have to lose weight, we wanna make sure they're not losing the good stuff. If we see a number we don't like, then we can adjust the diet. For me, this is the most invaluable part of our program. Okay, my honor. I don't know what other camps do. We don't do anything by guess. We do everything by numbers. Come on, let's see the man. Yeah, No, 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 no. Yes, yes. What Alex is doing with all my guys is something that helps me, something that I never did as a fighter, something that I never did as a, as a coach either. One, five, seven. Very good. No, si le hacen a pileta así. 
Nice. Very good. Okay. We're really happy with the results. We want to hold them here. It's one of those things that we decide whether we want to keep going down or we want to hold. You know, as your body changes, your nutritional needs change as well. So the numbers, these numbers tell us when it's time to make a change. Where are you? Where are you? Uh-huh. Oh, I'm so happy. Let's go. Ari es un muy buen entrenador. Me prepara muy bien físicamente. Todos los días hacemos cosas diferentes y siempre muy intensivo. Chino es ready to go. Physically, he's going to be stronger than ever. Even though he already is a tremendously strong fighter, this fight people will see a much stronger fighter in Chino Maidana. Dale, dale, dale! Beautiful. I like it. Tiempo. That's what I'm talking about. So if he can keep up with these 126 pounders, then we're in business. Oxnard isn't home. But by now, after two years with Garcia, Chino Maidana feels like part of the family. Today, the trainer and his fighters gather at his home for a barbecue. With the fight nearing, everyone feels compelled to represent. You're supporting because you could have easily gotten for free if you wanted to. That's it. It shows you that this fight is not just about buying tickets, it's about supporting the team. That's right. You know what I mean? It's about supporting the team. We're going to the I say, why the I say, why And how far is G back? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Yeah, but how far is it back from the A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I know A, B, C, but how far is it? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. He knows exactly what he's got to do. You know, it's not his first time getting in the ring, first time with Mayweather, but that's what they're training for, you know? Que si tú miraste a la mamá de Pacquiao haciendo brujería en la pelea, ¿sí miraste? ¿Qué piensas? Pues después de Mayweather queremos a Pacquiao también, ¿verdad? También. Ni la brujería lo salvas. No sé si todos los witchcrafts no se ven. Es cierto, ¿verdad? While Maidana's camp relaxes in the backyard, Mayweather's entourage rents a Vegas nightclub, complete with red carpet. They depend on Floyd, and they're eager to show their gratitude. Can we get a round of applause for Floyd Money Mayweather? This is an appreciation party. Make some noise for the champ right here. We have some very special performance coming up right now. Some very, very, very funny comedian right here. I want you to know I was in this mother. Hey, what up, everybody? Y'all cool? I want to say what's up to all the staff that's here tonight. Look, I know I'm blunt, but it's time to stop acting like these people don't exist. Baby, we good, baby. Let's go. Fight night is not yet here, but the celebration has already begun. Premature, perhaps. But the occasion itself is a metaphor for the money persona. Loud. I broke everybody record. You go get new name. Immodest. Don't watch TV, you watch me. And when you watch the TV, you watch me. Outrageously expensive. I'm a king and I live a life like a king. A world away from its point of origin. Grand Rapids, Michigan. The city reveals a universal truth. Poverty breeds pugilists. Maidana's no different. Where you are matters less than where you're from. Por más que tuviera mucho dinero, no haría lo que que él hace. Me gusta pelear, la gloria. Fighters are born hungry, but only the great ones stay that way. You get a belt, 
then maybe another. The riches accrue exponentially, but so does the risk. Eso es que mucha gente quiere ver perder a Mayweather. Cuando golpea a Mayweather, va a sentir golpe. I take the fight out, and you know that. Come to you, lie. I have tricks for them. Hard work. All these fighters is easy. Never took no punishment. A dangerous challenger, a comfortable champion. Too comfortable, perhaps. The answer is always, I'll fight away.